Hi everybody, I'm HP and in this video I want to introduce myself a little bit to everybody out there um, since maybe there's a need to explain a few things and the best ways um, when of course I talk and play a little bit stuff like this and um, that you might understand what this hbcrazy.com thing is all about. <laughs> First of all, um, <coughs> um, my real name is Hans Peter Krusei. Somebody said, uh, uh, in Swiss German, Hans Peter Krusei. I'm from Switzerland, professional guitarist for Switzerland. And I decided uh, to get this name, Hans Peter uh, HB Crazy, because I grew up in Jamaica. And um, the Jamaican people were not able to pronounce cruzy or cruzi or whatever, however, the right way, and they always say crazy. So, um, since everybody calls me HP, I decided uh, I'm gonna call myself HP Crazy. And I thought this is pretty funny, and there's a deeper sense behind it because um, I have this motto I don't look crazy, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that means um, exactly what it means, because um, what is what when we talk about crazy, what is crazy? Crazy when you don't follow trends, when you don't follow the mainstream, you, you try to find something which is out of any thought, out of any uh, normal way of processing things. For me, that's the meaning of crazy. That starts with uh, playing guitar. In my, in my entire career as guitar player, I was always seeking new ways how to play this instrument in a very cool way. Um, actually, uh, I'm, um, I was, before I was playing guitar, uh, guitar, I was a professional piano player. <laughs> and at the age of 20, I decided, man, I want to play this, this guitar. I really love the sound. I mean... And so I bought myself a guitar and that and then I started to play guitar like hell because I really started really loving to play guitar and the, the crazy thing about my playing is you can see a little bit I'm thinking as a pianist on the guitar because a pianist thinks this way as every note is after one each other and also this uh, touch technique which I'm playing adapted of course from piano playing for me this is normal to play even you think this is crazy um, it's normal for me to play like this also normal tapping so this is what the name is all about and um, I just want to share my way of thinking playing guitar way of thinking music to the world <laughs> And that's the whole idea of hbcrazy.com or my hbcrazy.com YouTube channel, which has a really, uh, it's amazing how many uh, people are starting to watch it. I, I had no idea actually. But um, yeah, so let's get a little deeper inside um, my philosophy in music. My main thing in music is beside finding new ways of playing the guitar is I play colors. I don't play songs, I play colors. What does it exactly mean? You have here a color that's blue. Dark blue, so when I play dark blue, it maybe sound like this. That's for me is dark blue. So, um, well, how does red sound like? I have a little remote control. Oh, I already got it. We want to have red. That's not red. That's the red. This is the red I want. <laughs> so, how does red sound? Stuff 
like this. That's a red sound. So now how does yellow sound like? Oh, that's a bit too green. <laughs> Here we have yellow. Yellow would sound. I do, I'm doing a lot of concert like this where I play colors. Let's try another color. Green. Uh, it's not really my color, actually, but green is a cool color. I really had my problems playing green. But over the years, it became one of my favorite colors. green. Um, what have we forgot? Oh, light blue is also a nice color. Take that one out. This one is a good um, one. Um, some of you might remember the ending of um, Forrest Gump, where this feather goes up in the sky. And light blue is a very nice. <coughs> um, that song is very light blue for me. That you, you know, that's everybody knows that song. Oh, wrong switch, sorry. And, uh, oh, we forgot orange, of course, orange. Uh, the funny thing with orange is um, blues, mostly for me, is orange. <laughs> well, maybe you get, you get the point when you hear, when I play an orange type blues. goodness violet violet we forgot violet last but not least violet i love violet actually wrong knob Yo, that's my way of playing colors. Maybe you got the point, maybe not. Um, 
Yeah, um, but also in other guitar playing styles, I really seek for ways of playing it different. Well, I love to work with the wah wah because then uh, my guitar really starts to talk with me. I have this funny show, this talk to my guitar thing. Actually, the point is um, uh, to really play on a, a very connected music really you really need to connect with the guitar and this this uh, talk to my guitar thing is um <laughs> a little bit shows a little bit the the way you really s should be connected with the guitar you should hear what your guitar is playing maybe not so extreme that uh, you need to translate or sing words but it's about emotions <laughs> That's the main thing of talk to my guitar. Yeah, and that's really um, basically what I want to tell you about this. Um, of course, I can play other normal um, music, but for me, it's always connected with colors. Somehow, on the way, I want to express music. <laughs> on the guitar and of course um, some of some of you like it some of you don't like it that's how it is in this cruel cruel world um, but um, I mean I think uh, I have a lot of websites but this hbcrazy.com thing I think this is my most personal website where I really show my way of being artistic especially on the guitar I mean I have websites of, as composer or as pianist, um, but uh, actually, this is my thing: playing the colors, doing this. I will show more in the future about this playing technique. I mean, we started the system uh, now in um, January two thousand thirteen, so uh, it's pretty new, and um, it's building up. We we'll see what what will happen in the near future with this but um i mean i already have a lot of fun uh with it and so it was worth me um keeping this thing going and reactivating it and um it's really yeah we we'll see what happens depending on your reactions your support of course with no support um it's going to be difficult to really continue this work on the long hand but since I really have a lot of fun, uh, this my <laughs> I, I will um, see what will happen. Especially with the touch techniques, which is my thing on the guitar. I, I have some, uh, some very nice ideas for the future. I'm sure you're going to love it. So keep yourself tuned in. And yo, see ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah.